So, as we learned in our last lesson, carbon cannot be produced or used up. This means that the total amount of carbon in a closed ecosystem does not change. So if we're thinking about Gabriella's thoughts, although the carbon dioxide is increasing, the amount of carbon atoms is not. Because the carbon dioxide is increasing in abiotic matter, there must be a decrease in the biotic carbon in our plants, which as we found out in the article, is kind of a scary thought for our planet. If the amount of carbon increased in abiotic matter, then it also decreased in biotic matter. If the amount of carbon decreased in abiotic matter, then it increased in biotic matter. The second part is what is happening in our biodome. We figured out that when the population of decomposers decreased in the biodome, the amount of energy storage molecules in the dead matter increased. It was trapped here because the decomposers were not able to use it and eat it to break it down in cellular respiration. This evidence suggests to us that the carbon in the biodome is in the dead matter. When this occurs, the, there is less carbon dioxide in abiotic matter for those producers to use to make energy storage molecules. So our focus question here though is still understanding why did the decomposers die in the first place? It seems like if we go back to our graphs that the producers were staying pretty stable, meaning that they were producing energy storage molecules for the ecosystem. So why did these de decomposers die out? we need to go ahead and look at some files in the biodome to try and understand why these decomposers were decreasing in the first place. As we're looking through the files, I want you to pay special attention to things that may have affected the decomposers. Remember, these decomposers are eating things like dead material, and they also are things like worms and fungi, bacteria in the soil. Look for the inventory of decomposers that the biodome started with, and also be sure to pay attention to whether or not the decomposers had access to their energy storage molecules that they needed. I look forward to checking back with you after you look through the biodome files.